So hi guys, in my last vlog, I was talking about getting some new fragrances, which I saw in Boots and Superdrug. And there's a new Valentino fragrance out. I've got a sample of it to have a smell of. And I've also, whilst I was there, I bought Valentino Born in Roma Intense Umo Mans. And whilst buying that, they also gave me a sample of the Born in Roma Normal for Umo for men. So I'm going to talk about all three of them and tell you what I think and what I like. I have done a previous review on the Umo before, the Intense version, when I had a sample, but I'll go for it again just to see there is a difference between them. So in 2019, they brought out the Born in Roma Umo. Umo stands for man in Italy, Donna for woman, so they did both versions of Donna and Umo, and it's just a born in Roma. It comes in a jaggedy bottle, like this, and the sample I got given, it also comes in a small version in a little jaggedy bottle. It's a clear liquid, this one, but it's a very nice smell. It's a nice, it's quite clean, but quite a, quite a stylish little smell. It's quite nice. So the notes of the smell of this one, for the top notes, it is mineral, violet leaf, and salt, which don't tend to notice it so much, but it's there. The middle notes are ginger and sage, and the bottom notes includes an ingredient or smell, a note that I've had previously, and that's vetiver and a woody smell. So it's got the vetiver in it. Yeah, vetiver is the only ingredient in this that I've had in other fragrances, like my Bentley one, that I actually really notice recognize so it's quite a nice smell that's why i like the vetiver it could be a daytime smell um you could wear it anytime really it's got a really nice smell to it. it's a really nice fragrance sort of very flowery um very it is a male fragrance but it could be female-ish as well because they do the donna i haven't smelt the donna but eva could really wear this this is just a nice you'd love to smell this on somebody it's really nice let's move on to the one i've bought the one i've got and i've tried before and that's the valentino born in roma intense so this is the same fragrance as the last one but this is the intense version um the difference you'll see in the bottle itself it's very difficult to see but i'll show you some pictures the actual liquid itself is sort of red and it's a very sort of ready pinky color because valentino everything valentino does for the last 2023 was pink this came out in 2023 so it sort of went with that pink theme that i was really into at the time and this one's a really really it's a sweeter smell than that last one. It's a bit stronger as well, mainly because this is a parfum. That one was a nude toilette. It's a very nice smell. This is a very, again, it's an evening day. You could wear it during the day. You could wear it in the evening. It does get noticed. It's a very floral, I would say, smell to it. Very, very perfumey smell. It's not like an aftershave, which you think, oh yeah, it's like a strong man smell. Um, it is quite a... It's not a feminine smell, but it's quite a fragrance that maybe, you know, it sort of uh, could be either, really. It's quite nice. So this one's got a top, middle and bottom note, as all fragrances have, but it's only got one ingredient in each, or one smell as such in each. The top note is vanilla, the middle note is lavender, and the bottom or base note is vetiver. Again, it's the vetiver that I like, but it's only really got the three. It hasn't got a mix of anything else. That's why it differs from the normal Born in Roma. The normal Born in Roma, one I've just talked about, has a sort of a ginger and a sage and minerals and things like that in it. So it's completely different notes apart from the vetiver. The vetiver is the main note, the base note that you explained at the end, but it's got a lavender smell to it as well, which gives you that really flowery fragrance smell, which I really like. It's a really nice fragrance and I really enjoyed it. So that's why I've bought a full bottle of it because I know I'm going to use it on a regular basis. So definitely worth a recommend from me for that one. And lastly, of course, the new fragrance, one that's just come out. This is a brand new fragrance, 2024. I believe it came out at the end of January, beginning of February. It's still a Born in Roma, and it's an Umo for men, obviously. So they do male and female fragrances in this. This is a Born in Roma Green Stravaganza. So it's not an extravaganza, it's just a green stravaganza. And it is a green liquid. I've got a sample of it because I didn't buy a full bottle because I had a sniff of it and I wasn't sure, so I ended up buying the Intense. But you can just about notice it is very green. It is a green fragrance, which I quite like. I've had green fragrances before in the Penhaligon, so I like the look of the colour. But it's a different type of smell, this one, to the other two. The other two, I just said, had a more fragrant 
I, 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 say, I say romantic, but it's that sort of like cuddly type smell. It's got a nice romantic -y smell to it, is all I can say. Um, this one doesn't have that. You can notice there is still the hint of the born in Roma to it. So it's still in that same group, same family of fragrances. But the notes on this one are different from the other two by quite a lot. Again, like the Intense, it's only got three main notes. So the top note is Calabrine Bergamont. I've heard of bergamot, I've had bergamot in other things before. Middle note on this one's coffee, which is a little bit unusual. And the bottom note is, again, the base note is vetiver. So if all three of them, all three of the ones I've got, have got vetiver in. So the Born in Roma with vetiver, that's what I really like about them. But I'm not so sure about this one because it's uh, different with bergamot and coffee. It's a very strange smell. It's different than the other two. It's much cleaner not a romantic -y type smell not sort of a clubbing going out being with your partner type of smell this is quite a clean during the day maybe an office type smell work smell um it is quite nice it's one of those things i'm going to try it i'm going to wear it a bit i'll try and get used to it if it's really nice over time then maybe i might end up with some of this to go with the intense but i do really prefer the intense out of all three but this is the new one on the block now strangely enough Valentina do do a lot of other smells as well, which I haven't got. So there's other smells in the Born in Roma range I've just not had before, I've not tried yet. I may get to try them over time. That's the three of them. They are nice, they're all nice bottles, they're nice fragrances. As I said, I think on the new one, gonna take some time to get used to, but the other two, the Born in Roma and the Born in Roma Intense, out of the two, I would always go for the Intense. The Intense is a nicer, warmer, more of a fragranty, nice smell to it. Um, but there's nothing wrong with an all born in Rome, but I would just, as you can have the choice between the two, personally I'd go for the intense. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you soon.